touch the patient's windpipe. Using two fingers, slide into the groove, apply gentle pressure until you feel light thump, and that's your carotid pulse. For the brachial pulse, slide two fingers over the biceps until you feel in the indentation. Slightly press upwards and apply gentle pressure until you feel a light thump. Use your pointer finger and index finger to find the radius. Press down and gently apply pressure until you feel a thump. That's your radial pulse. To locate the dorsalis pedis pulse, lift the patient's big toe so that you can locate the EHL tendon. Slide your two fingers slightly on the inside. Apply gentle pressure until you feel a thump. To find the resting heart rate through the radial pulse, place two fingers over the radius. Apply pressure until you feel a thump. Count the number of beats for 15 seconds and multiply it by 4. Pretend that you are looking for the radial pulse. Count the number of times the patient's chest will rise in 15 seconds and multiply it by 4. Use a soft object to tap on the patient's knee. First, locate the, the patella. Slide your fingers down towards the tendon. You can also mark it like I did. And then use the soft part of the scissors to tap on the knee. The knee should extend each time you tap. Use a pointed object for the Babinski test. Start from the heel, going to the lateral aspect of the foot, towards the big toe. The response should be curling down of the toes.